Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania goes missing from public eye for 24 days. Liberals start sick rumors. First Lady Melania Trump has not been seen in public for 24 days and counting. The theories about her status are outrageous. Progressives have taken to Twitter to pretend they care about the well-being of the First Lady, only to use her as a pawn to take shots at President Donald Trump. The timeline of events that led to Melania's absence from the public eye began on April 21, when she attended the funeral of former First Lady Barbara Bush. On May 7 she introduced her anti-bullying campaign titled Hashtag Be Best and on May 10 she appeared for the last time in public with her husband to meet three men who were brought back to the United States after being held captive in North Korea. On May 14 the White House announced that the First Lady underwent kidney surgery at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center for an embolization procedure to treat a benign kidney condition, according to her spokeswoman Stephanie Grisham who added that it was successful and there were no complications. One could assume that she has been resting and recovering from surgery since that time. But that would require that one not be suffering from Trump derangement syndrome and using any story, real or contrived, as a weapon to attack the president. For her part. Melania has kept active on Twitter which should assure people that she is fine. A sincere thank you to Walter Reed Medical Unit at WR Bethesda and to all who have sent good wishes and prayers. I am feeling great and look forward to getting back home at White House soon," the First Lady wrote in a tweet on May 16. My heart goes out to Santa Fe and all of Texas today, she tweeted after the Santa Fe High School shooting. On May 24, she tweeted, Thank you Master Chief Slabinski for your heroic actions. At POTUS and I are proud to have you at White House today to award the hashtag Medal of Honor. Thank you and thank you to all our military who risk and sacrifice your lives for our freedom." She followed that with a tweet honoring the military on Memorial Day. On May 30, she responded to the conspiracy theories regarding her whereabouts. I see the media is working overtime speculating where I am and what I'm doing. Rest assured, I'm here at the at White House W my family, feeling great and working hard on behalf of children and the American people." She wrote, What conspiracy theories is she talking about? Insanity like this, do we even know if she is alive? What if Trump killed her? Serious question. Why else bring all kids to Camp David? Author K. Bell wrote on Saturday which prompted Huffington Post journalist Ashar Ali to ask, How do people go to a place where they can even think this is true? What conspiracy theories is she talking about? Insanity like this. Do we even know if she is alive? What if Trump killed her? Serious question. Why else bring all kids to Camp David? Author K. Bell wrote on Saturday which prompted Huffington Post journalist Ashar Ali to ask, how do people go to a place where they can even think this is true? A reporter for The New Yorker, Emily Nussbaum, wrote I'm genuinely concerned about the Melania thing and it's really bugging me. Maybe nothing is going on but it feels weird, right? Where is she? The most concerned person has been one of the president's most vocal critics on Twitter, comedian Michael Ian Black, who wrote a tweet storm asking where the first lady has been. He accused the media of handling her with kid gloves, called her nothing more than an accessory and a trophy wife, and accused her of hating her husband. Sadly, we deal with conspiracy theories all the time, so this is nothing new, just more silly nonsense, her spokeswoman told CNN. I wouldn't characterize this as a long absence. She was hospitalized for almost a week and is now home and recovering. She has had several meetings internally with staff and will continue to do so this week. It is possible that the First Lady is still recovering from her surgery. Or it could be that she does not desire the spotlight like some people do. Normally wild speculations and conspiracy theories would be easy to ignore, but when they are being pushed by leaders of the Democrat Party and top journalists, it becomes another case of showing that President Trump has broken them. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.